Hello, Leos. This is your daily for the 23rd through the 24th. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Honor your beauty. Archangel Jophiel. Thank you, Jophiel, for helping me discover my inner and outer beauty. That's what we have today. Ooh. Look at that. Loving yourself. Loving others. Sharing the love. Beautiful. Let's see what else we've got for my Leos. Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. We have the Seven of Pentacles. Hmm. Two of Pentacles. Two of Cups. Yeah. Um, I think most of you are waiting to see if someone is going to come to you. But I think you really know deep down inside that that's not going to happen. And I think you you feel a little, you're hopeful, but you feel a little stuck. You don't really know what to do. It's like you love somebody and they love you too. But you're unsure if you should just wait or whether you should go to them. You're leaning more towards waiting right now. Because I think you're unsure of how they're going to receive you. Taurus energy here, Cancer, Capricorn. You're, you're unsure. You're unsure if you guys um, have enough fond memories for this person to want to get involved in this again is what I'm feeling. Because I think you have a lot invested and I feel like they do as well. But you're unsure. You're unsure if they still care about you too. But they do. Why this is happening, the chariot. Mm. Death. Six of Swords. A lot of you felt like you were being su successful in moving away from um, this individual in the past and, and going out on your own, exploring. But there's something that has changed in you. I think that mentality is one thing that has changed for one thing. Um, it's changed. There's some, there's something that, that some knowledge that you have gained about this person, about yourself. And I think for a lot of you, you're wanting to, you're wanting to share. You're wanting to um, let this person know what it is that you have learned, um, and probably not go to them and say, "Well, this is what I learned." But you know, you want to go to them with this revelation. Is what I'm getting here. Maybe you don't want to be by yourself anymore because I think a lot of you wanted to be single. Is what I'm getting here. But now you're not sure. Maybe you're thinking that you should have stayed. Somebody here is thinking they should have stayed. Okay. So you take this how it resonates with you. We have Cancer here, of course. I think I said that. Scorpio, um, Aquarius energy is here as well. But there's something propelling you. I feel like you feel it. Um, that's, that's like pushing you towards success. It's, it's like pulling you, Pull, pulling you out of the past, pulling you out of that mentality. Um, and you are rethinking, I feel. Let's see what the influence is here. You've been stuck for a while. Somebody's been stuck here for a while. But now, both of these are majors. So this is really calling for 
um, for you guys to like really look inside of yourself to see, you know, what things um, you can do to change your situation, what things you could do to bring harmony into this situation, how you can even work with someone to get to the, this harmonious state within a relationship, if that's what you want here with the Two of Cups. Something is trying to pull you out of this stuck, this stuck state um, where you feel like there's really not much you can do. This waiting, waiting, just waiting. Okay, let's see what the advice is here. To get your confidence up and go towards the things that, you know, meet somebody halfway. This is how this card is looking at this one. This is meeting somebody halfway. Okay, this right here is meeting somebody halfway. All right, my Leos, so that is what I have for you guys, and um, I will be speaking with you guys soon. Bye.